All right, Marcus. Come on. I know you're out there. You and your little hot harem of silly women. All of my live. All of my inbox. All of my channel. All of my page. Because I called you a false teacher and a wolf. And a charlatan. And a pimp. Because that's what you are. So let's go. Let's get it. Come on up. I'm right here. No sense in hiding. You call me out. Here I am. Cam up. Let's get it. I got about 45 minutes. Got about 45 minutes. Come on on. Come on in here, Marcus Dodgers. Because you like dodging questions. Let's go. What's going on, Lou? What's up, Will? Nicole, how you doing? Let's get it, Marcus. You're all up on people's timeline. Two, three o'clock in the morning. Running your mouth like diarrhea. I ain't Rouge Line. I ain't Alan Parr. I ain't gonna let you slide with the questions like, what do you mean, dude? I'm gonna give it to you. So let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Where you at? I know you silly women are in my comments too. I'll make all of y'all famous. Let's go. What's good? Where, where you at, Marcus? I know you hiding in the shadows somewhere. Where you at? Come on. Called your boy out. Saying anybody that calls him a false teacher don't have the spirit of God. <laughs> but the funny thing about this dude is the funny thing about people like Marcus. He makes false prophecies, lies on the Holy Spirit, lies on God, but he's he he's the one that has the spirit. Boy, please. Stop with the foolishness, boy. Just stop it. I got 45 minutes. Come on, you silly women. Come on in here. Come on here and defend your pimp. So I can smack you with this Bible. I ain't gonna put hands on you. But I'm gonna smack you with this word. Since you like being played by pimps, this preacher gonna hit you with the word, though. I'm gonna smack you upside the head with the word. Since you like being played and abused and mistreated. Wait, here's another, here's another question about you silly women. Where your husband's at? Are, are you, are y'all married? That's another question that I want to know. Where, where are these people's husbands? Where, where are these people's husbands at? Where your man at? I mean, y'all up here defending another man who's playing you. Where is your husband? Go calleth thy husband, silly woman. Where y'all at? Yeah, Nate, come on, bro. Man, listen, they're all in my they're all in my comments from yesterday. I wake up this morning, wipe the cold from my eye, get the get the get the, the puke from my mouth, as they used to say. And uh I look at my I look at my page and I'm getting Marcus Roman, Marcus Rogers commented Marcus Rogers commented on your post I'm like Marcus Rogers mentioned your name on the I'm like what like bruh bruh this ain't what you want you do not want to camp up with me because I've been waiting for this moment all my life you've been running the mouth you've been running your mouth for ten years Marcus. If y'all don't believe me, just check the comments on my page. It's the one that I had put up yesterday where I said, you know the hate is real when people are discouraging other people to not, to not support me or follow my ministry, but these people are encouraging others to follow and support Marcus Rogers. 
So now I got a gang of silly women, a gang of, of hot pants women. That's 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 Second Timothy three six and seven. If you think I'm being, you know, inappropriate. No no no. The Bible says these are the these are the silly women that fall prey to pimps like Marcus Rogers. They're 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 silly women. Paul says laden with the lusts. So this light-skinned, Albie Shule looking Christopher Williams looking, you know, that's why they're following him. I guarantee you, if we were to look at Marcus Rogers' analytics on YouTube and see the demographics of how many men versus women follow him, I guarantee you the scales will tip over to the women. Because only, only weak women, hot and bothered women, and effeminate, weak men follow a Marcus Rogers. You're not going to find a godly, spirit-filled, discerning, Titus 2, uh, 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 Proverbs 31 woman following, supporting, and defending a Marcus Rogers. You're not going to find that. Why? Because they know their word. And they know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, a wolf from a sheep. Real men, real dudes that I know, would never support, defend, follow a Marcus Rogers. Some of you CHH cats, some of you cats that are in Hog Mob, Brian Trejo, y'all discernment is trash if you're, de if you're defending and supporting this clown. Yeah, I said it. And I mean every word I said. How can you defend somebody who denies the God that you serve? How can you defend somebody who said that Jesus Christ was a thought? A T-H-O-U-G-H-T, a thought in the mind and heart of God. He does not believe in the eternal sonship of Jesus. So let me give you all a little background and context. So. I look at my timeline and, and Marcus Rogers comments and says he's not going to debate with me, but he, he said he'd tell you what he would do, what he would be interested in doing. He said he would not. He said, Let, let's have church together and let the people that you support and the people that support me, let people see who has the anointing by what we preach. I'm like, bro, first of all, do you understand you apparently don't read 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 through 17, where the Bible tells me not to partner, not to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. I don't, I don't have church with false teachers. I don't have church with wolves. I don't have church with pimp preachers. I don't have church with false prophets. I don't have church with people who abuse God's flock. But I'll tell you what I will do. Because I already put it in the comments. Get your boy Alex Pagani. Get him. He can moderate. He can moderate our quote unquote debate. But see, you know you're not going to do that. See, you got away and you've been getting away with it. Because nobody holds you. To questions that they ask you, they let you wiggle and weasel and snake and squirm your way out of the out of the questions. I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna hold on to you like a pit bull off a 40 day fast, homie. You're gonna answer my questions. You're not getting away with nothing if you came up with me. But where are all these silly women at that's defending you? I notice again. It's always the silly ones. It's always the weak ones. See, a pimp doesn't really have to defend himself because he always has his hoes doing it. Don't you talk about my man. Don't, and then you got the same, I got another woman that's defending the same pimp that's smacking both of them. And he has a whole gang of silly women defending this pimp. Marcus, you never should open your mouth and mention my name, bro. But I know you've been watching me. I know you've been watching me. But see, 
I got you shook. People like my bro, my, my bro Drady for Christ. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my man Drady for Christ on YouTube, you need to subscribe to his channel. You need to do that after you get off this live with me. Get over there and subscribe to Drady for Christ. He has a gang of videos. And all he does is let these clowns like Marcus Rogers, who said last year, excuse me, in 2020, now, in 2020, that God told him he walking in the woods. He walking in the woods. He said God told him that Trump is going to win the election. Uh, who's in the White House now, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen? Could you put that in the comments, please? Who, who is, is Trump in the White House or is Beijing Joe Biden, Jim Crow Joe Biden in the White House? Tell me, tell me. Which one, which one is in the White House? Which one? Which one? Is Trump in the White House or is Biden in the White House? Tell me. Because I got the receipts. And if you don't believe me, just go to my, go to my page. It's right there. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Monica. So, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, simple question. How many prophecies must a prophet get wrong before he's considered a false prophet? Put the number of how many prophecies a prophet has to miss in order for him to be considered a false prophet in the Bible. G give, me, give me a number. Aaron, you said one. Who else? Oh, Ramisa, you said once. Who else? Sharon, thank you, baby. You said once. Who else? Nicole, once. John the Baptist. John the Baptist, one. One, one, one. All I'm, I'm, I'm just seeing all these ones. One, 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 one. You know, you know why we know it's one because the Bible says so. Oh, I know. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me read to you, silly women of Marcus Rogers' hot harem. Let me read to you what the qualifications are for a prophet. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 20. But the prophet who shall speak a word presumptuously in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or which he shall speak in the name of other gods, that prophet shall die. And you may say in your heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord has spoken? Simple question, right? Simple question, isn't it? Lord, how we know who's from you and who ain't? Answer, verse 22 of Deuteronomy 18. Silly women, are you listening? Get out of Marcus Rogers' lap for a second. Get out of his lap. Listen to this real quick. Verse 22. When a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the thing does not come about or come true, that is the thing which the Lord has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously. You shall not be afraid of him. You should not listen to him. You should not, as we say, uh, folks say in the back, back in the day, you should not stun him. I ain't stunning him. Yeah. Just once, God says you're disqualified. You're a false prophet. And if you're a false prophet, that means you're not saved. That means you don't belong to God. I know. I know. Let me let me read to you a New Testament passage then. Because some of you silly women, you still don't get it. And some of you weak men, God help you if you're married and you're allowing your wife to follow a person like Marcus Rogers. You're just as dumb as a bag of cheap rocks in a clearance rack. Just dumb. And being stupid ain't a spiritual gift either, by the way. Second Peter chapter two, verse one. Second Peter two, chapter two, verse one. But false prophets also arose among the people in the Old Testament. False prophets also arose among the people. Just as there will be false teachers among you who will secretly introduce destructive heresies you know uh i call marcus here's the time that i call marcus now marcus is his name is now marcus 
Remember that when he did the whole snake pulling out the woman's back? Talking about the, the you know the woman's like, mm -mm. yeah. His name is now Marcus mm -mm Rogers. From now on, that's your name, Marcus mm -mm Rogers. He introduces destructive heresies, even denying the master who bought them. And notice bringing swift destruction upon themselves and many will follow their sensuality. And because of them, the way of the truth will be maligned and in their greed, they will exploit you with false words, false prophecies, saying the Lord told me. I mean, I, here's another interesting thing. God is always talking to this dude. But when I read in my Bible, like Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, you know, they're not getting prophecies all day, every day. Ezekiel will say in the in the so-and-so month of the so-and-so year, the Spirit of the Lord came upon me, or the Spirit of the Lord said, in the so-and-so month, and then and you see a space, you see a gap between this time where God speaks to speaks to uh, Ezekiel, this time where the Spirit of God speaks to uh, Jeremiah or whatever. This Negro, he he talking to God like like we talk every day on the phone. I'm like, my goodness. Really, dog? Your connection is, is, is on point, boy. You getting you getting more FaceTime with the father than the prophets did. I'm like, gee. But the Bible says, in their greed, they will exploit you with false words. This this man is a millionaire and how did he become a millionaire by you silly women some of you probably can't even pay your bills because you're giving this fool this clown this pimp this charlatan this false teacher this false preacher this wolf your money you're spending money that you don't have to see somebody who's not of god But I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you, Marcus, to come up. I'm waiting for you, sir. Because you 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 to put your mouth on the wrong one. See, I'm gonna respond to you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna respond to you. Because see. Anyone who follows a Marcus Rogers pretty much shows me where their discernment is. Their discernment is trash. Now, hopefully there's hope for that individual. But they 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 need to be teachable. And, and we need to pray that God will open their eyes before it's too late. Because here's the, here's the problem. If God does not open their eyes, if the spirit of God does not bring conviction to their soul, guess what's going to happen to them? They're going to experience the same fate as the wolf that they're following. Oh, I'm not making it up. Read Matthew chapter 15, verse 14. Jesus tells the Pharisees who got upset when he was telling them the truth. The disciples came to Jesus and said, uh, Lord, uh, the Pharisees were offended by what you said about them. And you know, Jesus told them, he said, leave them alone. Why? For they are blind guides and if a blind guide follows a blind guide they both fall into a pit if a blind man follows another blind man they both fall into a ditch so some of you who are watching this live and some of you will watch this video later on I'm gonna put it I'm gonna drop it in my YouTube channel to make sure that people like Marcus Rogers sees it because I know he's watching it now. Because he was on my Facebook page. People like Marcus Rogers, um, they are enemies of the cross. That's what the Bible calls them. The enemies of the cross. They don't know God. And oh, by the way, just because you quote scripture does not mean that you are of God. Uh, Satan did that. 
Satan Satan knows scripture, but he does not know the God of scripture. So that doesn't that doesn't move me. But Marcus, you know what's up. You know that if you camp up with me, that would be social media suicide to your quote unquote ministry. You know this. That's why you you jumped on the live with people like Alan, because see, Alan is weak sauce. Alan can go toe to toe with you. That was evident. Unfortunately. Ruslan is weak. It's puppy pee. He can't tell you anything about the scriptures because he doesn't know. What do you mean? Should have gave you that work, but he let you slide when you quoted or cited or mentioned Hebrews 10 5. When you said that the Bible says that he had, he had a body that was prepared for him. Well, here's a question, Marcus. Who is the writer of Hebrews referring to and who is having the conversation with who? The son is having a conversation with the father. He says, a body thou hast prepared for me. Two persons of the triune Godhead are having a conversation about Christ's incarnation. That's easy. That was a softball. That was an alley-oop. That was a lob. That was a slow pitch. That should have been dunked. That should have been knocked out the park. But... You got on that live with them, with Allen, with Ruslan, and with what do you mean, John McCray? And you think you got him, and you laughed. Oh man, you know I really gotta go. You know I love y'all, and 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 we can. I'll, I'll come on any of y'all's lives, any of y'all's channel, any other time. And you and you just you just slithered away. Try that with me. Try try that with people like like you know like me. People like Brother Corey Miner from uh, Smart Christian Channel. Try, try with, with cats like us. Try it with, you know, try with Brother Ricky, Carl Will. Try, try it. Try it with Proverbial Life Podcast. Try it with Brother Edwin Ramirez. Try it with us. Try it. You know you're going to get bodied with this Bible. You know you're going to get this work with this word. You know it. And see, the Bible says, people like you, the wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. And since you know that you don't have sound biblical theology, you run from people who do. It's simple. I mean, I would too if I was a snake. If I know the fire is hot, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to squirm and wiggle my way around as well too. Of course I would. But see, when, you able, when you're able to stand on your own too, like... I can stand behind what I believe because I know in whom I have believed. But see, you get away with the stuff you get away with because you got your, your silly women, your weak. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, so you have people like like that to defend you. Yeah, I'm back. I had a, had a low signal. Um, low Wi-Fi signal but let me just let me just let me just, let me read another text sound like this thing is, is tripping a little bit yeah I got a little uh, I guess Wi-Fi interruption in the area over here um, Deuteronomy 13 I already read you Deuteronomy 18 Deuteronomy 13 if a prophet or dreamer of dreams arises among you and gives you a sign or a wonder and the sign of the one that comes true concerning which he spoke to you saying, let us go after other gods whom you have not known and let us serve them. You should not listen or that dream of dreams for the Lord your God is testing you to find out if you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall follow the Lord your God and fear him and you shall keep his commandments, listen to his voice, serve him and cling to him. But that prophet or that dream of dreams shall be put to death 
because he has counseled rebellion against the Lord your God who brought you from the land of Egypt and redeemed you from the house of slavery to seduce you from the way in which the Lord your God commanded you to walk. So you shall purge the evil from among you. I know that, yeah. <laughs> uh, Derek, I have no problem talking about the nature of the Godhead, the coexistence of Christ and the Father. I have no problem doing that. The problem is Marcus needs to do that. He needs to agree to do that. Because again, I'm going to stay on him. He, he would not get away with anything. He's going to answer the question straight up before we go anywhere else. He didn't do that with Alan. Alan asked him a question. 